welcome back to another Abigail Page Designs video. Today we're gonna do our second ever gardening vlog. I'm filming this about a week after I filmed my last gardening vlog and we still have strawberry pests. So I decided to take the time and do some research and um, at first I thought they were spider mites because that's what my mom was dealing with. I am by no means an expert um, at the whole gardening thing. So I just thought, oh, they're spider mites. I'll treat them the same way she treated hers. But it turns out they're something different. So they're actually aphids. Um, I've heard that aphids are a pain to get rid of, which would explain why I've been struggling so much. So last week you watched me apply dimitaceous earth to the entire plant. I mean, I just covered that sucker. I was like, oh my gosh, this will be perfect. But um, then when I went to wipe it away and stuff, I still found them moving. So I'm kind of running out of options. I, like I said, I did some research and it looks like there's a method to do vinegar. It's one part vinegar to three parts water. So you know what? The plant's dying. We're gonna give that a shot today. I'm gonna do the one part vinegar to three parts water, um, spray the entire plant, and then it said to do it a week after if, if there's still bugs. I'm also gonna remove some of the older dead leaves because I think that the dampness of the actual plant itself is not helping. I really need to almost dehydrate it. We're gonna remove every single dead leaf that I can find. Um, I'm also going to wipe off as many as I can with a damp cloth before I apply the vinegar spray just because I'm not messing around this time. I want this plant to live and so let's do it. <laughs> the plant I speak of is my strawberry plant that I'm currently, I guess, babysitting for the winter. It unfortunately has um, I'm pretty sure there's spider mites in it. It's since just gotten so, so much worse. Um, there's a lot more of just dead leaves and the flowers aren't really fruiting. So as a last ditch effort to get rid of these things, um, I've been spraying soapy water, but that's not doing anything. So I'm going to try some dimitaceous earth and see if maybe that works. Um, I'm also going to do some heavy pruning on all this dead stuff in hopes that maybe getting rid of all of the dead stuff will help to be rid me of my bug issue. Um, but yeah, I really hope <laughs> I'm able to save it. I, like I said, I noticed probably about two weeks ago that there was some tiny little green bugs on the leaves but they've since then gotten a lot worse. So today's the day. We're going to fix that. Okay, so I did some pruning. Um, there's still a little bit, but oh my gosh, they're so bad. I don't know if you can see them moving in there, but it's disgusting. I really hope that I'm able to save this guy. So I'm gonna go get the Dimitaceous Earth. I have all of the pruned clippings in this bucket here, and I'm Gonna take it directly out of here so that way there's no contamination. Um, 
and then I'm gonna rinse my pruners. <laughs> We're gonna do the whole process here because they're worse than I thought. I mean, they're just, they've infested it. In case you guys are curious, I'm just using the St. Gabriel's Organics um, Dimitatious Earth. I'm really hoping that this works. Um, I mean, it says it kills most bugs, so let's pray, guys. Okay, so I applied it liberally, and now we just wait. I'll probably repeat this um, every few days or so until I see absolutely no more bugs. Um, and, yeah, I'll have to let you guys know how it does and if the Dimitatious Earth works. Because, like I said, the soapy water was doing absolutely nothing. So, I'm kind of running out of options. I, like I said, I did some research, and it looks like there's a method to do vinegar. It's one part vinegar to three parts water. Welcome to my garage. Sorry it's a little loud. The heater is on. But I just grabbed a spray bottle, an empty one that we had around the house, um, and I'm going to fill it with, let's see, it's 24 ounces, so... Okay, so I'm going to fill it with approximately eight ounces of vinegar to um, and then fill the rest with water. I got my vinegar right here. It's nothing special, just white distilled vinegar. Hopefully it works and it's the right kind. I don't know what, if it matters, you know, apple cider vinegar or balsamic, but we're just going to hope that white vinegar works because that's what I got on hand. Let's see here. Get in there. splash for good luck. Okay, so it looks like I got about eight ounces. Now I'm going to fill the rest with water. All right, so I got my water in there too. I'm going to put the cap back on and let's go outside to the greenhouse. Okay, welcome to the greenhouse. Sorry the lighting is a little bad. I wish I had power out here for my light, but I do not. So we're gonna work quickly because it's getting a little dark out. I, uh, I have some soapy water mixture here and I put some paper towel in it. <laughs> I was being a little bit of a freak and didn't wanna get the aphids all over my cleaning rags because I don't know what I would have done. I mean, I probably could have rinsed them off, but these things literally stick to everything. I mean, I stuck my finger in there the other day and they were just all over my finger. It was so disgusting. So obviously you guys probably can't really see them all that well, but I will uh, give you a close up here in a second. I mean, I'm looking at them right now and there's still some moving. I wish they weren't, <laughs> but they are. So let's get started. Okay, so there they are. Um, you probably can't tell on camera, but there's some still moving. Um, and now there's also these bugs with wings. I don't know if they're part of the aphid family or if they're aphids themselves. But we are going to treat this sucker like its life depends on it because it does. I mean, it's dying. It's got a bunch of dead leaves down there and it's moist and... It's not good. It's a hot mess. So, I'm going, I think I'm going to start by wiping it down, maybe, just so I can see what I'm doing before I prune it. So, yeah, let me get my paper towel, set you guys up on the tripod really quick. All right, you're back on the tripod, and I got my bucket with my paper towel here and my soapy water. I'm just going to wipe the leaves down anywhere I see bugs I'm gonna get rid of them
thankfully I don't see as many on the stem of the plant, so I, like I said, I do think the Dimitaceous Earth killed some of them, um, but I don't think it got rid of them. I'm just gonna dip it in there occasionally. Obviously the soapy water should, in theory, kill them. Um, at least I hope it does. So every time I dip it back in there, it'll just kill them right in the bucket. Gosh, I coated this thing. Okay, so I was going to give you a close-up of my paper towel here. As you can see, there... Actually, there's one. I don't know if you can... Probably can't see him, but he is moving, and it's... It's very gross, I will say, but um, I'm just going to continue wiping, and then we're going to clip, and then we're going to spray. There you go. I don't know if you can see him, but right there. Ignore my bad fingernails. <laughs> he is moving, and he's moving fast. All right, so we continue to wipe. Wipe, wipe, wipe. Get rid of every bug I see. Ooh, that's brittle. Poor baby. Okay, I'm back. I wiped as much as I could. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't have a really high hopes of this guy surviving. I wish I had better news, but, um... We're still going to give it a shot, and hopefully I'm proved wrong, because I love this guy. I love this strawberry plant, and I mean, I'm babysitting. It's not even mine. Obviously, the owner would be very understanding if I uh, couldn't keep it alive. She knows how much aphids can be a pain in the butt, but um, yeah, let's just get clipping now. I'm going to get rid of every single dead or yellow leaf that I can find. Um, also any dead stems, just anything that looks remotely brown or discolored is going to be gone. Obviously, see bugs. Um, they're right at the source too, which really is what's concerning me. But we're gonna spray anyways. I mean, it's worth a shot. They uh, hopefully now that there's less leaves too. I'm hoping that there's just less for them to cling on to. Okay, I got my spray right here. I've also been uh, dipping my hands and pruners in there quite a few times just to make sure that. I'm killing off any bugs that crawl onto me, um, cause I see some on my hands right now. Thankfully they're dead, but still. Ew! So I'm just gonna spray really vigorously, um, and even like the pot, because I noticed that there's quite a few just chilling on the pot waiting for a leaf to cling onto. I'm gonna spray every single leaf, the root system.
like no other over here, but we're gonna give it another spray. Just hit up the bottom part of the pot. And literally everywhere. If you have arthritis, I recommend um, getting a sprayer that will just stay on for you so you don't have to hand pump it like this. It's uh, not exactly easy on the wrist. All right, well, I've done what I can. All right, so I'm going to clean up my mess here, um, but I'll give you guys an update in a couple days um, when I go to spray it again, and yeah, let's, let's pray this works. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I am back. It's about a week later after I tried the vinegar method on the strawberry plants um, that had aphids, like, really really bad and unfortunately I don't believe the strawberry is alive or going to make it um I tried my best but you know what at the end of the day there you learn from your mistakes and you know what there's room for improvement I'll just get a new one next year and we'll try this again <laughs> that being said just in case there is a small teeny little chance that it's still alive I am going to clip back absolutely everything. I'm gonna clip back the entire plant. Um, and if it comes back in spring, then I guess I'll let you guys know. And if not, then we'll just put it in the compost and well, maybe not even the compost because I kid you not, this thing had so many aphids and they came so quickly. Nothing was killing them. Um, when I talked to the owner of the strawberry plant about it, she said that <laughs> she has also struggled with aphids in the past and the only method she found that worked was, lo and behold, the only method I didn't try, which was putting it um, under some blasting water. I didn't try that. So probably should have, but obviously it's a little too late now and with the holiday season, I just have not had the time to come out here and take care of it and unfortunately I'm paying for that now but I did not bring my tripod out here I'm just gonna kind of show you some clips of me clipping it back and then I don't know I guess we'll see in spring <laughs> but like dude seriously there's still aphids on there I still see them I don't know if you guys can um oop let me try to focus it yeah, there's still aphids. I don't understand. Like, these must be supernatural aphids or something. They just come back. Um, when I was looking up online, apparently each aphid can have up to 12 aphids a day. So, in my mind, I was immediately like, well, this is a never-ending battle. I mean, I'm never going to win this. So, maybe my negativity helped. Maybe it didn't. Um, it prepared me for the worst. And... Yeah, let's just get some pruners, clip this all off. I'm gonna go in the house, make sure I have no bugs on me so I don't track them into my inside plants. And I mean, it's it just looks dead to me. I don't know, I'm not a professional. I'm gonna take it down. Oh geez, that's heavy. And let's get my clippers. I got my clippers and a tray right here. Just gonna clip off whatever's left and stick it on the tray and throw the tray outside in the snow to kill all the remaining bugs. Um, so yeah, let's have fun. Okay, I just propped you guys up right there just so you can see. I feel so bad, but you know what? You can't save them all.
she's all clipped and yeah now we're just gonna let it lie dormant i'm gonna give it a teeny bit of water um probably about once a month just in case but i mean i don't know you tell me guys leave in the comments below is this plant alive do you think or do you think that it's dead and it won't come back Oh, it's heavy. Alrighty. There we go. Alright, I think I'm going to end this kind of somewhat depressing gardening vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned a few lessons from me. Do not, if you see any green bugs, let them go even a minute. Immediately take action. Otherwise... You may pay for the price, unfortunately. I mean, it's going to happen regardless whether you're the best gardener on the face of the earth or not. Pests are just part of the gardening process. So, um, I mean, unfortunately for this guy, it was just unlucky circumstances. But like I said, it's a lesson well learned and I will definitely, definitely, if I ever see any bugs ever again, um, not let it go as long as I did because it just, you know, that you're, the time's ticking to... Woohoo! Go me! Because I thought I filmed an outro, but turns out I didn't. So here's kind of a casual outro for y'all. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Leave a like if you have ever dealt with pests and leave a comment below. Did you win or did you lose? And subscribe if you love all things home decorating, organizing, cleaning, and gardening. Love you all, and as always, thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day. Bye! Save that plant.